Greetings to all. We'll discuss what housing bubbles and housing market crashes mean to you today. A housing crash is a rapid drop in property values that often happens after an extended period of inflated home prices. A weakening economy, stricter lending requirements, and rising interest rates are typically to blame for housing crises, and each of these factors may also impact demand. Additionally, housing bubbles pop because the economic circumstances that fueled their expansion are no longer present. For instance, property ownership costs rise, pushing down prices as loan rates rise. Many people all around the country suffered greatly as a result of the previous home market meltdown in 2008. Numerous families were unable to continue paying their mortgages. Workers were being laid off in droves, and homes were going into foreclosure. Could this happen once more? Is this currently an excellent time to purchase a home? Is it better to hold off until a potential market crash? If home prices rise more, this may be your final opportunity to purchase a home. However, a significant drop in housing values could present a fantastic opportunity. How can you prepare for this scenario, and what would a home market crisis look like? In addition to learning how often and how serious a housing crash may be, you will also learn how to purchase a home in this video. That is going to be amazing. See the entire video because making an informed choice on your biggest purchase could pave the way for a lifetime of financial success. We're glad you're here. On our Money Facts channel, we'll teach you about money, investing, and personal finance. Make sure to hit the like button if this video is helpful and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in improving your financial future. An abrupt drop in real estate values brought on by various factors is known as a housing market crash. It can be difficult to swallow when a family's main asset has a significant value loss and a property price decline can negatively influence the net worth. It might result in a drastic cut in overall spending, leading to a cascade of price reductions across the board. Numerous factors could lead to a sharp decrease in property prices, much like a stock market crash. Because they account for a sizable portion of a monthly mortgage payment, rising interest rates make homes less affordable to purchase. The monthly cost might change significantly with just a 1% or 2% increase. After two years of historically low interest rates driving up demand for real estate, those rates have increased, making it more challenging for some borrowers to qualify for and afford loans. Inadequate lending processes, issuing loans to borrowers who are not eligible, surging inflation, making regular expenses practically unaffordable, declining consumer confidence, and higher unemployment are among the factors that could be contributing to the housing market's problems. Like during the Great Recession, many people fear another significant housing crash. It makes sense, given that prices have been rising ever since. Everyone appeared to be underwater in their homes, owing more than the value of their properties. Short sales and foreclosures were widespread due to this negative equity, job losses, and other issues. When these properties hit the market at once, the price fell dramatically. Although dramatic falls like the ones we saw during that time are not unheard of in history, they might occur again. Only once in recent memory have they experienced a significant decline, with declines of roughly 20% during the crash. The housing market, as opposed to another factor, brought about the Great Recession, making it unique. Even though prices change from year to year, as you can see from this graph of the average home price, they usually stay relatively high from their 2007 peak. Prices reached their peak again after nearly six years in late 2013. In other words, if you had bought at the market's peak, you would have been in the red for more than six years. You can observe that housing prices generally increase yearly, except for this extraordinary time. Prices rarely fall by more than a few percentage points at a time, and the decreases are brief when they do. The prospect of a decline in home prices excites prospective home buyers who have yet to purchase their first residence. Purchase a home at a level similar to what was available a few years ago, or 10 or 12 years ago. His interest rates are going up. As home ownership becomes less accessible, you may anticipate that prices will decline, but a drop in cost will be advantageous. 
look at the potential monthly costs for two distinct situations. A 10% down payment for a $500,000 home at 6% interest translates to a $5,650 monthly principal interest, average tax, and insurance payment. Suppose you get lucky and property prices decline by 20%, matching the most significant decline in recorded history. In other words, you would need to compare the top to the bottom to see a 20% discount. So precise timing would be required. For example, a house that was once worth $500,000 may now be purchased for merely $400,000 due to lower prices. Your interest rate may be 8% right now. Currently, your mortgage payment is $3,467 each month. This is a fantastic chance for a wealthy cash buyer, but is it truly a tremendous opportunity for a first-time home buyer? In a nutshell, it depends on how long you want to hold that higher interest. Famous hedge fund manager Peter Lynch once observed, investors have lost far more money expecting or planning for corrections than they have in the corrections themselves. The value of your home may decline, but it doesn't provide you a competitive edge over someone who purchased it a year or two earlier. Homeowners who bought a few years ago would still be in the black even if prices fell by 20% or more. At the bottom, the average home price in 2020 was 31% lower than it is now. Since property prices generally constantly increase, as seen from the graph, there was not expected to be a dip like this. While you wait for an uncertain 20% discount on housing prices, realistic prices can quadruple once again. Future prices should be considered a long-term investment as purchasing a home is one. If you decide to purchase something immediately, consider whether you will be satisfied with your decision in 2, 5, or 10 years, not just in the next 6. Indeed, housing costs might decrease. This should be understood by everyone considering purchasing a home. Currently, existing factors include sharp stock market drops. Rising interest rates and high inflation may indicate a decline in property value. Nobody can predict where events will go, so it doesn't make sense to worry about it, but it's also a good idea to be ready. Like timing the stock market, this tactic typically only works if you're a seasoned investor. When searching for a property, stay in attractive growth regions where people are moving in rather than away from them. Take into account the area's proximity to amenities like stores, schools, highways, airports, and tourist hotspots, as well as to places that are developing and are spreading outward. The poorest house in the finest area should be purchased. But it shouldn't be taken literally. But the point is that less-priced properties in desirable neighborhoods typically see more appreciation because there is more room for appreciation. So even those who cannot afford the most prominent house on the block want to live in a desirable area. Please only purchase a house for its brand new fixtures. Consider the location, yard's functionality, build quality, and other variables before purchasing a home. In contrast to fashionable flooring and light fixtures that will go out of date in a few years, these qualities will always be there. Ensure you stay within the lower portion of your budget and have enough money set aside for upkeep, repairs, and maintenance. If you spend every penny of your monthly budget only to discover that the actual cost of ownership is far higher than you anticipated, things will turn out well. Buy a house with revenue possibilities, whether a mother-in-law's apartment or an extra dwelling unit. Think about how it might rent. When you move into a new property, if you ever decide to rent out the entire thing, the rental money you receive from renting out a portion of your current home can be utilized to pay down your mortgage if you need or require it in the future. When choosing a property, consider what future buyers will feel about it and what you enjoy. Most first-time homebuyers stay in their house for up to two to five years. To discover your forever home, trying to stretch your budget is ridiculous. Avoid becoming overly emotional and consider the purchase from a value perspective. Many purchasers base their decision to purchase a home on their feelings. While buying a home is an exciting experience, you shouldn't base your decision on it in the long run. Whether it be rising mortgage rates, rising housing prices, or anything else, owning a home will always be difficult. 
There is always an ideal time to start, like investing in the stock market, launching a business, changing employment, or anything else. Recognize the yearly trends in the home market and set reasonable expectations for where it might go. Real estate investing is a long-term tactic. Most new investors tend to see real estate with a 6-12 to month time horizon, which is a novice perspective. The real estate market operates at a reasonably leisurely speed compared to other sectors where you might invest your money, like the stock market or the cryptocurrency market. The stock market may increase 20% one day and decline 20% the next. Likewise, cryptocurrencies can change value quickly, 5% one minute, 10% the next. It isn't possible to look at the housing market in the upcoming 6 to 12 months because it will be different. You must consider it over a 5 to 10 year period. The presentation is now ended. Please see my forthcoming video, which is below. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.